plastic bottle, a small plastic bottle, um, any of these sort of uh, bottles will, will do. You must have the cap. And we're going to make it move using a propeller and we're going to turn the propeller using uh, rubber bands. First thing we need to do is to make some holes in the cap and in the base of the bottle. Um, you need a, a small hole uh, about 3mm diameter in the cap and to do this I've used a small hand drill. Um, depending on the age of the pupils you may have to help them with that hole. Um, you can use a drill to make the hole in the bottom. Just to warn you the plastic is quite thick at the, in, the in the base of these bottles. Um, and it does need to be a larger hole, it needs to be um, 5 or 6 millimetres diameter, um, big enough to allow you to pass the rubber band through. Um, a far easier way of doing it, and obviously I don't let the pupils do this, is to use a, a soldering iron. So if you've got access to a soldering iron, it's much easier to make the hole in the bottom of the bottle. Um, if you're only doing one or two, I don't think you need to worry too much about the... Um, any fumes given off, but if you can do more than that then make sure that you do it in a well ventilated room. Um, okay, uh, the, the next thing we're going to do is to prepare the uh, propeller and for the propeller shaft we're going to use um, uh, this is about 8 centimetres long, this is 2 millimetre diameter metal rod, it's welding rod, it is available from my shop and this is a nice uh, hammer tap fit into the propeller, very tight, the propeller won't come off. It's very important when you tap this on to make sure that that lug that sticks out um, goes on first, because that will act as a spacer and stop the propeller from rubbing. So we just tap this on with a small hammer. Yes, that feels a, a really good fit. We then pass the uh, propeller shaft through the cap. Make sure you've got the cap um, the right way around so it can be screwed on the bottle. Very important to remember to put the cap on before you do the next step, which is to bend a hook on the end here. Now, this metal rod, this 2mm metal rod, is um, uh, quite stiff, so probably this would have to, the pupils would need adult help to do this. So I've got some pin nose pliers here. We bend the hook around like that so that we've got that shape and then put the, the pliers in the other side and bend it back the way it came so that you've got a hook like that. I don't know if you can see that. Next thing we're going to do is to um, Thread the uh, rubber bands through. You need to join the two rubber bands together like that. Pull them tight. Get the knot quite tight, otherwise, it won't go through the hole in the bottom of the bottle. And you should be able to get the rubber band through the hole. If you can't make the hole a bit bigger, uh, we could use a, a screwdriver if I can find one. To gently poke the band through, try not to damage the band with the screwdriver. And when you've got a few centimetres through, there we are, um, to get the rest of it through, um, I've made a hook here out of a giant paper clip. When I go to schools, I, I have several of these ready made. I need to get that through a little bit more. There we go. Oh, that's much better. So now I should be able to catch that with the hook. There we are. Pull that through. Now, whatever you do, make sure you don't pull the whole thing through. So I like to put my finger through there. You will need to stretch it quite tight to persuade... There we go. There's the knot has gone through now. And to stop it coming through, we'll just put um, a short length of 4mm dowel through there, pull it out so that is now held in place and because I don't want that stick to fall out, it probably won't but I'm going to put some sticky tape on it as well so that there's no chance of that falling out. Ok, pull the band through, take the hook off, now hook on the propeller shaft hook like that and 